Hello, hello, Coach Tony here. How are you today? I'm coming on live and I wanna drop some cool value bombs for you today. And if you catch me live, just let me know you're here and I'll give you a quick shout out. And if you catch this on the replay, just do hashtag replay and I'll still answer your comments, okay? And I am Coach Tony, I am a Limitless Life Coach and we are rocking and rolling. 2023 is gonna be the most amazing year ever, if you allow it to be. And I wanna jump on today and give you some tips on how to really shift your life this year in a, in a massive way, quite honestly. So I wanna quickly talk about this and give you some secrets here that will help you level up, ready? So really, we're gonna be talking about the words that you're using and absorbing throughout the day because words have power. And specific words have more power than any other words, okay? And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So I wanna jump right in. And if you don't know, or if you have questions about what we're talking about, just drop some comments below and I'll check in as we keep going here, okay? But the idea here is words truly have power. Truly, if you say confident, how does that make you feel, right? Like certain words have power, right? Depressed, sad, right? Those words are often linked to how they make you feel. Well, every word is linked because we have an association with what it means to us actually. In other words, if somebody calls you a name and you have defined that to mean something to you, you are gonna take that on and you're gonna absorb that power. And if it's degrading, if it's bringing you down, it's going to make you feel, it's gonna, it's gonna take away your power, right? However, other people you're around in a certain amount of time throughout the day, but you're with yourself 24-7, 365. So the secret here, the very first secret that I wanna share with you is how are you talking to yourself? What is your inner dialogue? your self-dialogue. Those are the most important words. Those are the words that have the most power and influence over your life. If you could start to change your inner dialogue this year, it's gonna change your entire life. I'm here to tell you because I am living proof of that and all of my clients who we do certain work with, and I'm gonna share one of the exercises we do today with you, uh, they all change their lives because they're reinforcing that change through their inner dialogue, okay? So let me know if that resonates down below. Just drop me a comment below and say, yes, that totally resonates. I understand this a bit, but we're gonna go deeper as we keep going here, okay? So here's the idea, you guys. I'm sure you've heard of affirmations. Maybe you've tried them. Maybe they've worked for you, maybe they haven't. But here's the reason, here's, here's what happens with most people because they're doing affirmations wrong, actually. So I wanna, this is number one that I kinda wanna share with you. How to use affirmations properly for yourself, okay? So we're gonna jump into that, and then we're gonna go even next level with how can we get the most out of changing our self-dialogue? Like, how can we cha change it and shift it as quickly as possible, quite honestly, okay? So number one, why affirmations don't work for people is because you gotta feel into them, actually. You can't just say the words and then not really feel the words. You've got to get into the feeling of the words. I like to say, you gotta put on the shirt of that, that word or that feeling. How does it feel? You gotta wear that shirt for a bit. And so, let's just say you have an affirmation that I'm gonna be abundant this year, or I'm gonna make more money this year, or I am wealthy and abundant, or I am, whatever it is for you, right? Related to your goals, right? I am fit, healthy, and strong. Right? If you want to lose weight, you want to get you know, stronger, that type of thing. So whatever your affirmation statement is, everything always works out for me. Right? Again, it could be a generalized statement, it could be very strategic, but the key to success with these is you've got to say it to yourself and literally get into it. So let's just say, let's just say you're, you're doing, I am healthy, fit, and strong. Okay? However, you feel like you're not, right? So like, in other words, your belief is not quite there. Well, you've got to kind of pretend. It's called mentally rehearsing. So if that's your statement, that's your affirmation, you're gonna say it out loud until you start to feel it. Okay, this is the secret right here. You've got to start to feel the words that you're saying to yourself. 
And this is an easier way to do that. What if I was, right? So you can add that, what if I was to the front of the affirmation? What if I was healthy, fit, and strong? How would that feel? So it's almost like you're baby stepping from your, the lowest level of belief because a belief starts off as impossible. Like, oh, I'm not healthy, fit, and strong if you, if you don't feel that way and you know you're not, right? Well, you're, and, and a lot of people are like, well, you gotta fake it till you make it or you gotta you know, lie first before you can start to believe it. But that's not necessarily what we're doing. We're actually just trying to figure out, all right, well, how does that actually feel? Right, we're putting on that shirt that statement shirt or that affirmation shirt, and we're wearing it for a couple minutes a day, right? So literally, what if I was healthy, fit, and strong? What if I was abundant, wealthy, and money was coming to me easily, effortlessly, and consistently, right? What, what, if, I, what, what if everything did work out for me all the time and life was easy, right? Like, you're, we're, just, we're experimenting to get into the feeling. So what you're doing is you're, you wanna mentally rehearse with these statements, okay? And as you do this, the objective here is not to say it a million times, not to say it 150 times over, it's to say it like five, 10 times, or even 20 if it takes, until you feel it. And then once you feel it, just bask in that idea. So you don't even have to say it again. If it reinforces you, that's all we're trying to do is amplify that feeling. Hey, what if I was healthy, fit, and strong? What would that feel like? Ooh. Ooh, that feels good, right? And you kind of bask in that. So that's number one, okay? So this, there's a right way and a wrong way to use affirmations, and it's linked to how you feel, okay? Number two, there's, we go a bit deeper because there's what we call archetypes or identities that, are, that basically describe the type of person you are. And I've got like a list of these things, right? This comes from our, our coaching and training and stuff. But the idea here is, you could be like what we call like a hero, a rebel, an explorer, a caregiver. And what happens is we develop these archetypes, usually when we're kids, quite honestly, right? Our parents are kind of teaching us and we're developing an identity based off of the environment we're in. And so we adopt certain archetypes and identities. And like, for instance, one of mine is caregiver, right? And, you know, what does that really mean? Is like, hey, you kind of sacrifice yourself for others. And, you know, that's basically like, that's related to a description of who you are, right? However, if you do that, that can actually, that, that can hinder you in certain areas of life. Like if you're trying to build a business and you're just giving away all of your time and energy, and you're not receiving anything back, like it's, it'll play out in different ways as you, as you are older now, right? So the idea is understanding and identifying which archetypes you are, right? Some of them are like the lover, right? The, the prophet, the oracle, you know, defensive, the fighter, uncommitted, right? Like not, not, not really committed to anything. Uh, people pleaser, dictator, difficult, helpless, victim, ruler. There's so many, right? So what you can do though is you can kind of figure out what your archetype is and then you can develop an affirmation or a statement that says the opposite. So for instance, this is a really big trend and it was for me in my life, especially over the past couple of years, right? Making lots of money in the, in the, new, in the business and where I was doing However, lots of money was going out, right? So lots of money coming in, more so was going out eventually, right? So the idea is that's a trend that is related to an identity, right? Is, you know, money is easy to make and then it's easy to spend as well. Easy come, easy go, in other words. If that is an identity that you resonate with, what you can do is you can start to adopt the saver. Hey, I'm a saver. I'm not, you know, money comes in, you know, it's not easy come, easy go. It's easy come and easy stays. Like that's a new identity you can adopt, right? Same thing with losing weight is, oh, I never go to the gym. I'm uncommitted. That's my archetype, right? Oh, I'm, I'm, I don't commit to my goals. Well, you could flip that on its head and say, I am a committed person and I, I am disciplined and committed and I see through, I see it through right? Like that could be your new statement. 
and you do the same exact thing. You literally say that statement to yourself and add on if you need to, what if I was, right, committed and disciplined and I saw things through? How would that feel, right? What would that version of me look like, quite honestly? All we're really trying to do it, with these affirmations is we're, we're, we're using them to bridge the gap because the version of you who is committed, who is disciplined, who is doing what they need to do, it has that belief, it has that archetype instilled in them already. You don't have that yet, that's why you're practicing. This is the bridge to get you there so that you are becoming that version of yourself, right? So I hope this makes sense. I hope this is incredibly valuable to you. This changes my life and changes my clients' lives. And literally, I still do this work today and it never ends, quite honestly, because as you get to the next level in your life, the next level will demand a new you a new set of archetypes, a new set of instructions and programs and beliefs that will allow that, that version of you to, to live out and be in, you know, play out that rela reality, in other words, right? So, so again, this is, these are very deep ideas, quite honestly, but I'm trying to just kind of share them on the surface for you. And if this is helpful, let me know. Like, drop some likes, loves, comments below. The more interaction, the more you like these videos and stuff like that, if you share them with others who you, you think these will help, it'll, it'll, Facebook will show these to more people, actually, and show my videos to more people so we can help more people. I want to help millions of people this, this year, in the next few years here, and this is, this is the beginning of that, okay? But you guys, I hope this is very valuable to you. And if you take this seriously, it will, and I, I'm telling you right now, it will completely shift your life this year. You know, I literally have a list of statements and affirmations of the version of me who I'm becoming. And I step into them every day and I show up differently based off of how often I do this work. We call this energetics. We're working on the energy soul part of you. The limitless part of you, quite honestly. This is what I teach people in all of my courses, but I've got a brand new program called The Limitless Life. That we are, it's the next level. It's an eight week program that literally is years worth of ahas and uh, limitless, priceless information that'll help you level up. You get it in eight weeks and it's actionable. So literally every week you are actionably leveling up stepping into your new version faster than ever before, and you are gonna demolish whatever goals you have, okay? Whether it's growing a business, whether it's becoming a better parent, whether it is making more money and saving more money and building your wealth and fortune, whether it's having better relationships in your life and attracting your dream partner, it doesn't matter, guys. The principles are gonna set you free and you can apply them in any area of your life. And I advise you to, when you level up in one area, now it's time to level up in another area, okay? So with that, I hope this was incredibly valuable to you guys. I'm here, I'm gonna be here way more often on this page to help serve you guys to the next level this year, okay? But if you are interested in just getting there ASAP within the next month or two, just breaking past all of your limitations, hit me up, say, say me below in the comments and I'll reach out to you or just DM me directly, okay? And I will give you more information on how we can get there as quickly as possible. And not to mention, my brand new Limitless Life program is, is literally, it's, it's, it's literally being made right now. So this is an ideal time to get into it because you will have an, a voice into that and your specific problems can be directly you know, addressed and we can actually have you be part of that launch actually uh, with it. So again, it's a kind of a cool time. And, and again, there's, it's divine timing with what we're doing here. But with that, you guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week. Let me know what you thought of today's information and let me know if you're gonna commit to you know, doing affirmations properly moving forward. And if you do, the last bit, tidbit of information is, I want you just to make a commitment that, hey, I'm, I'm gonna try this out for the next five days. The next five days, that's it, really easy. I'm gonna actually say affirmations to myself for the next five days, the way Tony just described, and see what happens in my life, actually. See how I feel at the end of those five days. I'm here to tell you, you're gonna feel way more empowered. You are gonna start to unlock, when you do this on a regular basis, the next version of yourself. 
You are limitless. You can have, do, or be anything in your life. You've just got to start to rein in your mind and truly take control of it. You are your own boss. You don't want to let other people's thoughts and ideas come in and dictate and define who you are and what you're going to do in your life. You, you define it. And literally, via the affirmations you're writing out to yourself, via the statements that you're living by, that via these archetypes that you are deliberately creating for yourself and shifting into. I'm telling you guys, this is next level information, okay? With that though, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close out. Hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week and I'll be back on here in just a couple days, guys, okay? Take care. <laughs>